All right, so we've covered 16, 17. We need to look at 18 now, question 18. Okay, 18 says here, company's total profits in rands from producing and selling X units is given by that. So that's the profit function. How many units of this product must the company produce in order to maximize profit? Maximize profit means you want the maximum. Okay, we spoke about mins and maxes. Mins and max occur where the derivative is zero. Okay, so that's what we need. All right, so first get the derivative. Make it equal to zero. zero. Okay, so I'll write the derivative here. P dash x is equal to uh, 2 times that is negative 0 0.04 x plus 300. Okay, that's the derivative. If I want how many years the product must account be produced in order to maximize the profit. So then 0 equals negative 0 0.04 x plus 300 plus 300 um, and then that'll go that side 0.04 equals 300 uh, whatever that is let's see Three hundred divided by what happens to the two hundred thousand? It's a derivative, so you drop it. You drop constants. Okay, so yeah, that's the answer. Seven seven thousand five hundred option one. Okay, question nineteen. Let's look at it. Okay, nineteen says Average cost function given as that, where x represents the number of units produced. Okay, how many production units result in a minimum average cost per unit? Okay, so minimum means get the derivative again. Okay, so copy paste. Same story applies. Derivative here, a quarter x, deriving that'll be a quarter. That's the derivative, dy over dx. Okay, plus, uh, this would be a hundred, a hundred x to the minus one. All right, so if I derive that, I'm going to get minus a hundred x to the minus two. That's the derivative. There's the formula. Okay, they said how many units will this result in a minimum? So make that equal to zero. So zero equals a quarter minus a hundred over x squared. Okay, that goes to that side, so it'll be 100 over x squared equals a quarter. Alright, so take that to the right, put that on the left, so 400 equals x squared. x equals 20. Option 2. Okay, root 400 is 20, I think. Let's just double check. Root 400 is 20, yes. 20 times 20 is 400. Option 2. Is that alright? Yep. Okay. Alright, question 20 is just interpretation. They said, choose the statement that gives a practical interpretation of this. Alright, so what are they putting in here? They're putting in 25 into this equation which is that thing okay so they're saying if I put in 25 which is the rand in terms of the average cost function I'm gonna get this 14 rand 25 so the average cost of producing with this production X is the number of units produced yes so average cost of producing 25 units is there that's the one okay it's just English Okay, so basically interpret the formula to Okay, 21 T was awarded damages of that in a successful lawsuit against the employer five years ago Simple interest on the judgment accrues at that rate if the case were settled today. How much would 
uh, T receive in her final judgment. Okay, so the formula for it is... What do I want? Simple interest. Yes. Uh, present value or future value. If the case was settled today, how much would she receive? So P. So P equals... Uh, what's the future value? 1.5... Divided by open brackets, 1 plus RT. What is the rate? 12%. What is the T? What is the T? Five yes. years ago. Yeah, so it's 5 times 12. Yeah, okay, perfect. Answer whatever that is. Okay. Hmm, not an option. If the case were settled today, oh, today. Hold on. T T zero. T five years. Okay, where are we? T awarded damages against her employer five years ago so five years ago so that means now now is t zero t five years ago minus five how much did she get 1.5 million simple interest is that if the case was settled today question mark okay so you're actually working out future value. S equals P brackets 1 plus RT. Okay, so S equals basically all of this. But times. Two point four. Option three. Okay, so yeah, just be careful with the interpretation. The the question was like talking about five years ago. So that's why I drew that and then this was now. Okay, so just it was just interpretation. The first time I didn't get it right. Um, second time, that's the right interpretation. Okay, question twenty two. Family spends six thousand a month on food. PMT six thousand. Inflation occurs at a rate of five percent compounded annually. I is five percent. Over the next six years, N is six. How much should the typical family expect to spend on food six years from today? Okay, so they're spending six thousand per month. Um, and inflation is that, so that's actually PV, P, uh, P, PV. But the I is, that's 5% per year, and we're working with months. Yeah, no, but that's the current scenario, so 6,000 is what you're spending per month in today's terms. Yes. That's all. So it's just PV. Okay, it's saying 6,000 a month today, it's not an annuity. Okay. okay, if it was an annuity, then they would want to know what... How much did she spend over the six years, or over the five years, or over the whatever years? Okay, so um, solve for the future value. Okay, so F E. What's the rate? Five percent. This I would do in your calculator. See if you can do it. That you should be able to put in. N is six. P M T nothing. P V six thousand. Close brackets, 8,040 per month, option one. Okay. Option 
Huh? Uh, do it again. Put that in. Compute, eh? Yeah. Okay, so present value is 6,000. Then 5% interest. Future value. At your well, yes. At your full zero. Okay, twenty-three. Em's parents received a large inheritance. Uh, they wish to set up a trust. Uh, estimate seven years from now they will need that. How much do they put in the trust now if they want to invest money that compounded quarterly? Okay, so estimate that seven years from now. So any seven years times four, which is 28 quarters. All right, future value is 700,000. I, I4 is the quarterly rate, is 12 divided by 4 is 3%. Solve for PV. What did you get? 305, option 4. I'm doing something wrong. Do it again. Clear? Okay. So starting again. How many in? 28 quarters. 7 years times 4 quarters. 28. 28 in um, FV 700 I 3% 12 divided by 4 is 3 Compute PV Okay Right, 24. Present value of that due in three years is that. What is the annual interest if it's compounded monthly? Fine. PV given, 200. FE given, 1397. Uh, hold on, that can't go backwards. That this question is uh, value of true is due in three years time. Oh, it's the other way around. Okay, so yeah, so three one three nine seven eight four point nine nine is the PV. N is three. Solve for the rates. Thirteen percent. Uh, well, let's round it off. I think show more decimals. Um, yeah, six eight option three. Uh -huh. Did worry. You just need to put that in again. You you're struggling with the inserting of the numbers in the calculator. I mean that's everything. Yeah, the one you put in as a negative. Remember the calculator gets confused. Uh, wh which one do you put in as a negative? Whichever one you want, as long as one's negative. But when, how do you know when to put one in as a negative? Because you can't have two positives, because the one is an inflow, the one is an outflow. Oh, uh, so working out percentage, okay.
Okay. Option three. Uh, twenty-five. Let's see, twenty-four is done. Twenty-five. Okay, let's just do these ones. The last few. Okay, so Jay makes a down payment of that after he pays that thirty-six months at interest rate of twelve percent compounded monthly. Okay, so pull out the figures. PMT given four thousand. Um, this was monthly rate, so I is one. Uh, this was a down payment, so there's a deposit. There were 36 months. N is 36. What is the original cost? That's easy. Okay, so payment for I1, N36, sold for PV. Okay, so the rate, 1%. The number of months, 36 months. How much did he pay? 4,000. Okay, so that was the, that was the financing. Add the 40,000 deposit gives you an answer. Okay, option three. Right, so payment, interest, N, solve for PV. Okay, 26. S opens an investment account, 9% annually, uh, deposits 20,000, 31st of Jan each year. Okay, 31st of Jan is at the end of each year, so this is end of the year, so it's normal. How much will you have in the account after the 25th payment? All right, so N, how many? Payments, 25. What is the rate? 9% compounded annually. So I is 9. What is the deposit? The payment is 20. Solve for the FE. That's an easy one. Okay, future value opens. Rate was 9%, 0.09. In how many? 25 payments. Uh, payment was 20,000. 1.694, option 1. Okay, these are much, much better than what we saw earlier. Okay, it's literally, can you use the calculator? That's basically what they're asking you to do here. Okay, question 27. Let's check. Okay, D determined after making a down payment of that, he could afford to pay a monthly mortgage of 20. Payment, 20. Just identifying values. Bank charges a rate 7.2, compounded monthly. I12 is the monthly rate, is 7,2% divided by 12. 7.2 divided by 12. 0.6, is it raining? No, it's oh. the leaves. Okay. Uh, what else? If the home loan is to be amortized in equal monthly installments over 30 years, so N is 30. Oh, 30 years, so times 12. 360 months. What is the maximum amount that D will borrow? Okay, so payment rate in sold for the PV. Okay, so PV equals, what is the rate? Uh, 0.6. 0.6%. Oh, uh, I should actually show this. Brackets, 0.072, divide by 12, close brackets. Okay, the N here was... The 360. The payment was 20 grand a month. His loan amount can be for almost three million. Two point nine four six option one. Okay. Right, twenty eight. A forty two month loan. N is forty two months. Payments of that. PMT is that. Interest is eight. 
percent per year compounded monthly. So I12 is 8.1 divided by 12. Okay, 0.67. Uh, what else? Find the unpaid balance immediately after the 24th payment. Okay, this is amortization. All right, so before I can do amortization, I need all the values. So I've got the N, I've got the payment, I need the PAV. Okay, so first solve for PV. All right, so PV equals brackets. The rate is 0 0.081. Divide by 12, close brackets. This was for 42 months. Uh, the payment was negative 4113.50. Okay, the payment value is that 149,999. Right, so now I've got that in my calculator. Okay, this you have to do on the calculator because I don't have AMORT on the Excel spreadsheet. So, um, okay. No, 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 you solve for that. Solve for it. Solve for it. Compute PV. Not right. Okay, let me do it. Shift, clear, reset, zero. Okay, 42N. Payment. 42. Four, oh, shit, yeah. 4113.5 is the payment. Okay, the rate was 8.1 divided by 12 um, is the rate. All right, compute PV. There's the PV. Okay. okay, so now I've got that. What do I want? Balance outstanding on the 24th payment. So then amort P1 and P2 must be 24. And then read off the balance okay so now press amort p1 must be 24 p2 must be 24 balance is that option 4 okay right 29 almost there a man buys a house for two, he makes half a million as a down payment, agrees to amortize the rest, quarterly payments. Okay, quarterly payments, so N is, N is 10 years times 4 is 40 periods, 40 quarters. Right, interest rate is compounded quarterly. So I4 is 12% divided by 4, which is 3% per quarter. The size of the quarterly payments. Okay, so we know we know the PV is uh, 1.5 million. Solve for the PMT. That's it. Okay, easy one. PMT. Let's put in the rate. The rate is three percent. Okay, the number of quarters 40. The present value 1.5 million. Okay, he pays 64. 893.57, option 3. All right, and then the last question, what is the total amount of interest paid? Okay, total amount of interest paid, you're going to need your calculator as well. All right, so um, amortization, find the sum of the interest. Okay, so let's put that into the calculator. So work it out actually. Get the payment. And then once you've got the payment, I'll show you what to do.
Okay. You got it? Yes. What, what is the payment? No, option three. Perfect. Okay, so now you've done that. Then you go Amort. Write that down. Alright, so now what do I want? I want the total interest paid. So meaning how much interest do I pay from day one to day end? Okay, so uh, P1 is going to be 1. And then the P2 is going to be how many periods is this? 40. Yes. 40. Right, and then and then uh, read off the interest. Okay. All right, so 1 here. 40 there. Balance, principal, interest. There's it. 1.09. 1.095742 option 1 Okay, and that's it